Tara. And welcome to Book to Plate. For the body book. Today we're gonna to be recreating a delicious recipe from the Brag Your Plate posts. This comes from Julie Resnick of The Feed Feed. What's it gonna be, Gigi? We are going to be making her black sea bass with herbs, spices, lemon, and shallots. But we are gonna be using striped bass as opposed to black sea bass. Still just as good. Mm -hmm. And we're also gonna be pairing it with her wheat berry and kale salad and some roasted carrots. This salad is great, it's got kale, olives, feta cheese, onions, all kinds of delicious things. I love olives, so I'm really yeah, excited for this. Oh, thank you. Pop it in. Pop it in. <laughs> All right, well, let's be cooking. Let's do it. Preheat the oven to 425. Oil the baking pan, place the fish in the pan, and brush it with olive oil. Fill the cavity of the fish with shallots, thyme, basil, and lemon. Place the remaining lemon rounds over the top of the fish and season with salt and pepper. Place the fish in the oven for about 20 minutes until cooked. For the kale and wheat berry salad, start with removing the stems from the mushrooms and make sure to chop them up and then place them on an oiled baking sheet. You're also going to add your chopped onion. Place in the oven for about 20 minutes at 425 degrees. While the mushrooms and onions are roasting, rinse the wheat berries and boil them in a pot of salted water until tender for about 20 minutes. To make the vinaigrette in a small bowl, add the honey, mustard, and about two tablespoons of red wine vinegar and whisk in about four tablespoons of olive oil. When everything is ready, heat a large saute pan and quickly saute the kale in a bit of oil until wilted. Add the roasted mushrooms and onions and cooked wheat berries and blend together in the pan. Transfer everything to a serving bowl and add the feta, olives, sunflower seeds, and vinaigrette. For the carrots, place them in a shallow baking dish, drizzle with olive oil, and sprinkle with salt and pepper. Wow, the kitchen smells so good. It smells crazy, like lemons and basil. And, and this fish, I really wanna give it a try. Mmm, mmm. Oh wow. Julie, this is absolutely delicious. It's really incredible. And the best part is, it's all whole ingredients. We didn't use anything processed today. And that's exactly what you're supposed to do to fuel your body. You're supposed to eat whole foods, nothing processed. Absolutely. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And Julie, thank you so much for creating this awesome recipe. Now, if you guys want your recipes featured, don't forget to hashtag brag your plate on your Instagram photos. Awesome. Until next time, I'm Tara. And I'm Gigi. Bye.